Okay, let's start with uh, creating a new directory that we will use as the repository. Let's name it the new repository. Let's move into the new repository directory and let's initialize it. Okay, now let's say uh, create a new file. The name of the file that we are going to save into the new repository directory. will be my data.txt now let's type I love Paris let's save now let's get back to the command line interface and as you can see we can find the file my data.txt a file we have just created now let's um, see the status of this uh, repository. So as you can see we currently have the mydata.txt file and it is an untracked file. Let's take that file and move it to the stage. git add mydata.txt Now let's check the status and as you can see uh, changes to be committed is a list of files we can commit their change their changes to the git repository that is based on this specific folder the new repository folder so the mydata.txt file we can commit it it is currently on the stage and we can of course remove it from the stage meaning unstage it but we want to be want it to be on stage so we could git commit with a message the first commit now if we check the log we can see that uh, the commit we have just uh, executed as an ID if we check the status then you can see that there is nothing to commit. Now let's make a change and add the text we love snowboarding. Let's save it and check the status and as you can see the mydata.txt is in the list of files which are not staged for the moment so let's stage the mydata.txt file, meaning let's move it to the stage so we could commit it, commit the changes in that file. So let's uh, git add mydata.txt, git status, okay. Now, as you can see, the mydata.txt is on stage. We can unstage it if we want, but we want to commit the changes we did it. So let's do the commit with a message. This is the second commit. Now let's uh, see the log. And as you can see, we have uh, two commits. Now, if we want to get back in time, uh, we can. If we want to get back in time to the previous commit, we can uh, do the checkout, git checkout, and we need just need to type the ID of the commit we want to get back in time to. But we can, of course, just type the first five letters. It would be enough. And now, if we check the editor, as you can see, the second line was disappeared. If we want to get back to the master then we can do the git checkout master 
back where we were. So we can actually move backward and forward in time to see previous versions of uh, the files we have and we can always return back to the master